All right, so if we're gonna get this guy down successfully, what we is gonna have to do first... Oh, hell. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, hell. Stop the film. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome back to another day with Mr. Me, Rodney. And we are gonna be working on an upgrade to an iPhone 6 Plus. We're gonna add some more memory to it. So what I did was I scoundered through all my stuff and I found like this here little little guy and 64 gigs and another couple 64 gigs. Now I wish I could put two together and get 128, but that ain't possible. So since I don't got 128, we are gonna give this fine phone uh, some brand new chips. So we ain't never done this before, but we, uh, we went to China and we picked up this Navi Plus and we're gonna try that thing. And uh, we're just gonna start ripping and pulling and repealing and replacing and seeing if we can't get this baby to get some more bigger brains. Let's get started. All right, let's scrape away some of that crap right down here. Get all cleaned up. Well, God dang it, look at that. I just totally ripped that little tiny dude right there, straight off the board. Just one more damn problem we're gonna have to fix. All right, this is hard. So let's just get her done and get her done right. Well, I think I got that all that stuff scraped out. So let's take a look at Lou. Just see if we got anything we need to worry about. And I think we did it. So now, we are gonna apply some heat and we are gonna shove our tool right in this hole right here. All right, so this here flat tool is gonna go right up under here. Let's back out. Okay, let's hope y'all can see that because I don't know but we're just gonna gently shove this thing right up in y'all and then we're gonna pluck it. Oh, look at that. My tip is starting to slip in. Just the tip. We'll get the rest of it here in a minute when she's all warmed up. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Whoops, I slipped out. That ain't no good. Yeehaw, look at that. That sucker just popped right off like a nasty zit on someone's head. That baby was crazy cool. And that looks real nice too. I don't think I flubbed anything on that one. All right, so we got that guy out of there. We're gonna zoom on in just a bit and now look at all that dark stuff we have to get cleaned off of there. That is never, never the fun part. It's a good thing we got some stinking good background music, or these high speeds would really suck. Well, alright. Boy, that takes some stinking effort to do it that fast. That takes effort. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a wee little bit of solder on the end of this here soldering iron. That one right there, if you can see that big fat, fat boy. And we are gonna just solder these babies up and then wick it. And not only are we gonna wick it, but we are gonna wick it good. Do, 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 do. All right, back to work. That dang fume extractor is really needed to be turned on every once in a while. But not today. Today we are doing an upgrade, so we don't need no extraction of fumes. Hot oh, dang, boy that looks good right there. We got them little pads flat. Sucked up all that there solder. Gonna take a couple of ear cleaners here. 
and use them inappropriately to clean my board. All right. So first I'm gonna get this little site ready. So I gotta prepare that site, get that little guy back on. Let's do that right quick. All right, we are gonna set that aside and let's take a look here at our chip. Now this one is our replacement and it looks like it already has balls on it. But we're gonna clean off these balls and we're gonna give it some fresh, fancy, shiny new balls right before your very eyes. All right, so we got that cleaned up. Now, where is my stencil? All right, let's take a look at these fancy new balls. Oh, my lanta. That right there is some beautiful fresh balls. Beautifully fresh balls. We're going to hit that one more time. A little bit of hot air. Now we need to wash them balls because nobody likes dirty balls. Let's get them babies clean. All right, we are just about ready. So we have a brand new, fresh off of a dead phone, 64 gigabyte Toshiba, and we got some fancy new balls on it. And now we are gonna have to put that little guy back and then put that chip back. So we're gonna go hunting and see if we can't find out what that little guy is and put him back. All right, so we found a replacement off of a donor. So we are gonna harvest that little dude uh, right up there. All right, so that little dude right there is about to get harvested and given brand new life because right now he's dead. He probably ain't seen an electron in like a long time going through a dry spell. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean away all this junk around him and uh, give him a new home. And uh, we are gonna carry on, my friends. We are gonna just carry it on. All right, here we go. I'm gonna grab him up and just pluck him up gently. Come on, I'm gently plucking. All right, no more plucking. We are just gonna repeal and replace. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh hell. Nope, I got him. I thought I bumped him loose. All right, there's that guy's new home. We'll put him down. We'll grab some super tight, tight tweezers. And we are gonna set him down. All right, he is connected. We are just gonna hit him with a wee touch of hot air. Make sure that both sides is down. And I am feeling good about that. All right, so we are just about ready. Now that we have that little dude back on and we have some brand new balls on this here chip, we need to figure out which way he goes because I didn't check. How in the hell am I gonna find out which way he goes? Well, it's a fitty fitty. Well, let's just plunk him down just like this and we'll see what happens. I mean, after all, this thing just don't have enough memory. So if it don't work, well, we got nothing left to lose. All right, so if we're gonna get this guy down successfully, what we is gonna have to do first. Oh, hell. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, hell, stop the film. All right, well, what we damn near did was screwed this guy up because we forgot to take the data off of that chip to reprogram the new one. That was almost a disaster. All right, well, that got a quit bit stressful for just a minute there, because now what we need to do is we need to clean this here other chip because the first one wouldn't work. All right, let me get you all caught up with where we was. So we damn near made a fatal, fatal error by not reading the data off of the old chip first and reprogramming the new one. Like that was really quite not, not, not smart. That was not smart at all. But we caught it before it was too late. And so now what we did was we read the old chip and we reprogrammed this here new 64 gigabyte. And uh, we gave it some brand new fancy balls 
And so now we're actually uh, at the phase where we is going to install it and see if we can make this phone increase its memory size. So let's go under the scope and get her done. All right, I think that sucker is down right. So let's uh, cool him and test him. All right, the phone is in DFU. All right, it is restoring. Let's watch it and see what it does. Well, looky, looky, looky. All right, this time, let's see if we can get this sucker to activate. All right, folks, and there you have it. That right there is now an iPhone 6 Plus. That was when we started with, it had 16 gigabytes. It now has 64 whopping gigabytes. So we have had one hell of a good success creating that memory and wanted to say thank you for joining us today and we will see you with here Rodney on the next repair 